we're, we're very rarely in the office. We're very rarely doing PowerPoint projection. We're out there in the field. We're training in our uh, warrior skill level tasks. It's rough, it's tough, we're adaptable, and we're very resilient. It's one of those things that you have to, you have to be cut out for, such as uh, detainee operations, going out on convoys, escorting VIP personnel, understand that you're gonna come in and you may be on a 12 hour shift, a 14 hour shift, and you know, your QRF just responded and you don't necessarily have the team that you need to, but there's another VIP that's either approaching or getting ready to leave the wire. You have to have that ability to, to keep pushing forward, that motivation to keep moving. Military police soldiers have to be tough. They have to uh, be able to deploy and, and mobilize very quickly and be able to operate in austere environments. And the soldiers out here training are doing just that. We're in a mountainous area. Uh, they are setting up tents. They're digging the trenches, all while engaging the enemy and actually building a detention facility as well. The establishment of a uh, theater detention facility is hard work. They're pounding stakes uh, day in and day out. They're also running thousands of meters of Constantino wire to ensure the safety of the enemy prisoners of war. Lethality still plays a role in what we do day to day. We still have to get to the fight. We still have to defend ourselves during the fight. And then the overall lethality of the Army itself, um, getting the enemy's prisoners of war off the battlefield or the displaced civilians off the battlefield allows for those combatant commanders to get after what they do, and that's bring it to the enemy. Specifically with detention operations, we don't operate in a vacuum. We are in daily interaction with these other uh, specialties in the execution of the mission. For maneuver units or the units who are closer to the front lines and, and fighting our, our battles, we have to free up their ability to move around and, and do their mission. It's very possible that the next conflict we find ourselves in will be a large-scale peer-on-peer conflict that could result in large numbers of enemy prisoners of war. When they take enemy prisoners of war or displaced civilians, we want to move them away from the front lines um, into a secure area. So military police as a branch, that is one of our major missions, is to ensure that freedom of maneuver for those combat units. People don't understand how well-rounded MPs are. Uh, you're not just detention operations or combat support or law enforcement. You need to be good in all those aspects. And uh, there's very few um, MOSs that have that same requirement. We went from doing this in the cold in Iowa in February to doing this in the 90 degree heat in 400 Liggett in just a couple months. Always be ready so you don't have to get ready at a moment's notice. Uh, the pace picks up very fast. We're in combat support, so anything can hit us at one time. You have to be ready for everything. They, they really love to be part of the fight. When you love what you do, uh, your attitude and your demeanor while you're out here in theater, it, it just it gives you that level of endurance.